Hey guys, Pastor Jeffrey here, and I'm here with our uh, three church family pastors from uh, Anderson Grove Community and uh, Sunset Park. Last year we sent out 20 local missionaries. 10 went to Community Church in Locust, 10 went to Anderson Grove Church in Albemarle. This year, 2024, we're looking to send 10 more people to each of those locations. So now we're three locations, 30 people. So I'm just going to ask these guys a couple questions about their church family location and what's going on and uh, would love for you to consider joining us this year at one of these locations. Pastor Stephen Watkins, yes. pastor at Mill Creek Baptist Church, yes, sir. partnering with Sunset Park in Monroe. Yes. Tell me a little bit about Sunset Park and what's going on there. Sunset Park is located right by Food Line on Sunset. So it's just right outside kind of the downtown Monroe. And it's been, that, that location has been there for about 15 or 20 years. Uh, it was set up, that particular location was set up for a school. And so there's a, there's a huge gym, there's a full court gym, along with some other buildings off to the side, set up with classrooms. And uh, Shining Light Baptist Church now currently has their school there. Uh, we meet on Sunday afternoons uh, at six o'clock and have worship and some Bible study there but really are looking forward to kind of reestablishing ourselves in the community. So there's just a lot of, lot of great opportunity for us to get back out and try to love on them, try to have some ministry in that, in that area. Okay, so six o'clock on Sunday afternoons? Yes. I, I just show up? Yeah, just show up. There's about 15 or 20 people that are current members there. And then we've had some of our people from Mill Creek have come some on Sunday nights, but yeah, just showing up, we're trying to get us a game plan going into 2024. Trying to get some kids uh, opportunities going, some of our youth going, and, uh, but really get out to the community, canvassing the community, seeing how we can be a help, be a light in that community. So just getting together the first few weeks in January, getting a game plan together and kind of moving forward. Okay, sounds yeah. great. Yeah. Next we've got Pastor Drew. Pastor Drew's been at Anderson Grove. How long have you been there, Pastor Drew? Oh, uh, going on four years. Four years. Yeah, and so meet. first tell me a little bit about your relationship with the local missionaries last year. How did that work out? So Lee Park was gracious in creating this idea of sending local missionaries to Anderson Grove. It really lines up with the heartbeat of the Great Commission. And we were able to bring these people in, build relationships with them. The church was very welcoming and bringing the local missionaries in. So there's long lasting relationships that have been uh, built over this past year and it's all founded on Jesus and his mission and his mission for the church. So I think as far as the relationships went, it was just beautiful to see older senior saints at Anderson Grove connect with the local missionaries. A lot of the new families with kids as well were able to connect with the local missionaries and we we're able to work together to reach people with the gospel this past year. Now, what are your service times? Service times at Anderson Grove are 11 a.m. and we meet for Sunday school at 10 a.m. and also 6.30 on Wednesday nights for Bible study. Okay, awesome. Now, if I'm a, a local missionary thinking about uh, one of these churches, what would you say to me uh, to maybe interest me in, in being a part of Anderson Grove? I think when it comes to just serving as a missionary, I think you have to feel compelled and led by the Holy Spirit to serve. Oftentimes when we go to serve at these churches that need revitalization, it can be a little bit uncomfortable. You go from this big worship setting at Lee Park down to a more local setting where you're, you're serving alongside people. So I think it boils down to just serving, getting a little bit uncomfortable, and also a little bit of answering the call to go serve and lead. Are there any specific needs at Anderson Grove? So Anderson Grove over the past few years has changed a lot. A few years ago, the congregation average age was probably about 75. We've seen a lot of new young families come. So we have children and we have a lot of young adults and sometimes they need some steering as far as direction goes. So a, a, a need at Anderson Grove would be that middle age to where they can pour into that next generation that is starting the church revitalization at this point. Thank you, Pastor Drew. Dr. Jurgel, Community Church. You're just now moving in there. Pastor Landon's been serving there faithfully for quite a few years. And uh, now you're stepping into the role of the lead at, pastor at that church. Tell me about some of your ideas and vision for 2024. Well, we're really excited. And as you said, we're just starting there. So next Sunday will be our first Sunday. And we start at 11 o'clock. And we're in Locust. And um, it's a good church, good bones, good people there. 
and uh, we have a, a great amount of uh, opportunity in the community to reach out and be the community church that we're, our name signifies. And so uh, we'd like to reach into the schools and try to develop our youth and children program again. And uh, also we need an opportunity to, uh, or we have opportunities to uh, work with our men's ministry and develop a men's ministry and serve in the different areas in the community that we're aware of. So if I were uh, to show up at community and, and be a part of the local missionary program, what, what would I be doing? Well, the door is wide open for lots of things. So the first thing I would ask is, what do you want to do? What do you have a pull toward? What has God gifted you with? And what is he drawing you to? And it may be something that we're not even doing, and it may be a new ministry that we just develop because of the pull that God's put on your heart. Well, thank you guys. Man, it is exciting to think about 2024 and the opportunity to be a local missionary. Here's what we ask of our local missionaries. We ask for 40 weeks out of the 52 weeks in the year. Go and serve those 40 weeks with these churches. And I guarantee you'll fall in love with the body that you choose to work with. God will use you in a mighty way to accomplish amazing works with these churches. Thank you, Pastor Stephen, Pastor Drew, Dr. Jurgle. We look forward to seeing how God uses you all this year.